Hi, I'm Laura. Alex is behind the camera. And we're back today for Winifred's haircut. Um, I said when I was giving her a bath, Winifred has a tendency to get very staticky, and she does. Um, I have the Equus Microtech, which is amazing for an assortment of different things, for hot spots, cracked pads, um, but it's also really good for static. Um, but if you have any kind of uh, leave-in conditioning spray, if you have a static problem, rub it in your hands and just lightly go over the coat. I know that Chewy.com had this stuff on sale. Yes, you can get this from Chewy. The, the Equus you can get, yeah, right on Chewy? Yep. Yeah. It does say Equine on it, but it's the same exact ingredients. It's just a bigger oh. bottle. Yes, because if you see it says for horses with skin problems, we bought the wrong size. They do come in smaller sizes. Yeah, the only difference is the size. Yeah. Okay. So now we have, uh, we are static free. Again, when you're combing out a tail, always hold onto the tail. You don't want to pull the tail without, you don't want to just pull it freely. Tail is attached to the spine. Oh. I'm sorry, that's Jack. Okay, so you have your clipper. Again, I have a groomer's clipper, so I have a detachable blade. I'm going to be using attachments. Um, how I go over Winifred, it's the same whether you're using attachments, whether you're using um, a longer blade, it doesn't matter whether you're shaving down or whether you're just um, doing a little bit, same steps. Okay, but what I'm going to do for um, her first is I'm going to do her tush and belly so that we can split this up a little bit. Some, uh, some of some of you only want to do like a little bit on a tush and a belly. Okay, so I'm going to put the attachment on. We're good to go. Get this out of the way. Okay, so you get them to stand up. A lot of them do not like to stand up. She does not. She gets nervous. She feels more comfortable if she's just allowed to sit down. Okay, so I have my half inch attachment. I'm gonna start, let me turn her just a little bit more so you can see better. Hold on to the tail. You let the tail go, you're never gonna get the job done. So you're gonna hold on to the tail. I'm gonna start from the inside and take off her tush hair. Now, I, I do this attachment all over her for the summer. She gets very hot. I call her a winter chihuahua. Um, she's always panting, so I'm gonna, I would take all this hair off for sake of example. I'm gonna, the, why I'm just, I'm gonna start with the tush. Ordinarily, I would just start from the back of the head and work our way down. Okay, so once you've passed the clipper over the tush, you go back, comb it up, and you're going to see you're going to leave a few scraps. You always leave a few scraps. Don't even worry about it. The clipper does not pick everything up. You're going to let the clipper do most of the work for you, but it's never going to get it all. So then you go back, you pick up the little extras. Only pick up the scraps and the extras. Don't cut more. The clipper does most of it for you. All right, I got a little bit left in the sanitary that I must have missed on the first go around. <laughs> okay, perfect. Ain't that just the way? Ain't that just the way? All right, yeah, I, I didn't plug it in. Okay. That's okay, I have a plug-in clipper, so we're good to go. 
All right, so now if you want it to take a little off the belly, if you're just, if you have a dog that you want to leave the top line intact and you just want to get the scraps, you can, if you have thinning shears, you can go through and you can thinning shear off the little scraps, kind of Edward scissor hands it, or you can take your attachment and again, you can go very lightly to take off the little scraps. Or you can take quite a bit off. But be careful because if you want to take a fair amount off, you got to be careful that it balances with the rest of the body. Now you get your comb. And you're going to pick up the extras that you missed. If you are nervous, unsure, just go slow. Do less is more. You can always take more off, but you can't put back on. So if you are unsure, go slow. You'll get used to it. The more and more you do sound like anything else, the more and more you do it, the better you get at it. get these back here, comb it out. Use the smaller end of your comb. Comb oh, it up. good. And just take off the scraps. If you are shaving down, um, so you have a smaller blade and you want to take all the hair off, you can take your blade and run down the leg and take it off. I don't do that for her. But if you're taking it all off, just keep going, take it all off. If that's what you want. Okay, same with the front leg. See, because she likes to sit down, I run my hand underneath here my arm will hold her up. I can take her front leg and run the attachment down her front leg. Go back. See these here? I'm going to go back and pick up the scraps. This way you can then come through and you can give the legs some shape. Comb it up. You're just taking off the edges. The clipper did most of it for you. The clipper gave you the length. So now you're just gonna pick up the scraps. another look. So you comb it forward, comb it down, comb it back. If at any point in time you can angle your scissor down the leg, do that. Coming across this way, you may end up giving yourself a line so at any point in time you can point down, that is your better option. You will find that there are times there's just that angle, you just can't get into it. 
So then do what you need to do. But going straight down the leg is preferable. Okay, if you're not doing the rest of the body and you're only doing the butt, the legs, um, and the belly, these pieces here, see if I was to leave that alone, see it looks a little sloppy. See how in through here it looks, you still have these longer pieces. So if you're leaving the body intact, taking thinning shear, if you don't have a thinning shear, um, you can use scissors, but you take the thinning shear and you take off some of the scraps. If you don't have thinning shears and you're using scissors, very lightly, take off the edges for blending. See, that's a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to get this here. Okay, so that's how you would take care of if you're just doing the tush and the belly.